Okay. So so hey, let me ask you, since I mentioned rigging out, because I want to go over a few boxes if you have a, if you have the time. Um rigging yeah, out. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yes, rigging out. So what what is what, what's the deal with rigging out? Because I know he's is he how is he doing? I mean, is he is he give me a back uh what's going on with him, the status? Oh, he's doing great, man. You know, he just won the WBA uh tied up at Bantamweight at 118 pounds. So he wants to fight at 115 pounds, just one fight at 115 pounds. He wants to fight the WBC champ. And the kid from, I think the kid from, I forget where the kid is from, but the kid got the WBC title. He wants to go down and wait one more time. You know, his fight his whole career at 122, which he oh. never was. He, he never was a 22 pounder. He was all, you know, he should have, he walks around at 121 pounds. Yeah. But he just felt comfortable up there at 122. And of course, you know, he went up and waited to fight Lomachenko, which he should have never done. Never he done was, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He realized it that now. He was just way too small. And so, but, you know, he went down to 118, just won the world title there. So now he wants to go down to 115. He want to do the opposite of what everybody else is doing. Everybody else is going up and wait. He wants to go down. So, he, But he want to fight one fight at 115, as long as it's for the WBC. If it's not WBC, then he don't want it. So... But he'll stay at twenty two and try to unify the bills at one eighteen. Okay, so so that so that is that leader. So he doesn't want to uh, anyway. Anyway, is he is he searching for the anyway? Yes, at, at anyway. Yeah. Okay. He wants, to, he wants to fight him for that title too, but like I say, he wants. He was hoping that well, you know, until all this stuff happened, you know, with the virus, he was hoping to get a fight at one eighteen. I mean, I'm sorry, at one fifteen, and then by the end of the year, fight Inu at 118 again you know for his belt okay uh oh that's that sounds great so i mean because we all know like as far as bringing uh he he has been i don't really want to say short end of the stick but it's like he hasn't been treated fairly in boxing man what, what do you think about how he's been treated uh, well you know it, it's, it's it's different man he you know it's, a, it's just the politics of boxing yeah you know and he you know he's he, He's just such a good guy. People just took advantage of him in every way possible, mm -hmm. you know. And like, you know, when he fought Lomachenko, they took his belts from him because <laughs> he went up to fight Lomachenko, which is not fair. No. You know, guys, guys do it all the time, but it depends on who you are that they do it to, you know. I yeah. mean, if you look at Canelo, he's been going up fighting all these fights, right? Different weight classes. Still got the belts that he had before. And they never even decided to take anything away, you know. But it all depends on the money you make too, and that's why they let Canelo keep his belts. So, you know, it's just who you are that the sport of boxing it treats some people fairly and some it doesn't. 